Welcome back to another lesson for N2 electrical tray theory. In our preparation for the national exam paper, we'll be taking a look at question three in this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and to share these videos. Now in question three, in terms of the electrical reticulation network, there are four main sections, the generation, transmission, distribution, and utilization. Generation is where the power station generates electricity and alternator steps up the voltage from 11,000 volts to 400,000 volts. In the transmission section, a transformer steps down the voltage from 400,000 volts to 132,000 volts. And then we get the distribution network where we have another transformer stepping the voltage down from 132,000 volts to 11,000 volts. And then we get to the feeder network system. The last and final section is utilization, and that's where we have our three phase and single phase customers. Right, the first part of the question, name the four types of power stations found in our country. We get coal, nuclear, gas, solar, hydroelectric, and wind. Name four different feeder systems. We get radial, ring, parallel, and interconnected. The interconnected is also known as the mesh. Make a neat fully labeled sketch of a radial feeder system. Now the radial feeder system is almost like a series system where there's only one power line. Now the advantages of this network is that it's simple, less cables are used, less maintenance. The disadvantages is not reliable, Regions nearby get overloaded, and regions far away experience voltage drops. So in this diagram, we have our substation, the power line, and then the loads drawing power from that power line. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video coming up. Thank you.